is going on everybody i hope everybody's doing well all right i have no idea why my voice just cracked there i guess i just hit puberty once again <laughs> anyways we're back here at star citizen as you can see up here 324 cargo empires oh i like how they did that that's actually pretty cool they kind of guess if they tried to do that for 323 it would have been like salvage empires but still regardless 324 is here finally took long enough let's go check it out my buddy cupcakes already in the P, uh, pu pu oh. holy geez 94 at 100 people on that server whatever let's check it out yeah, you... this, this, this person on in this new inventory system is starting to get on my nerves already yeah that's what i've been hearing a lot as well people are not liking that new personal inventory and uh let's check it out so waking up for the first time in 324 i mean it's not bad it's just weird i guess once it's i get used to it i don't think it would be a problem. let's press i i no longer works well for personal inventory no it works for personal inventory it's not for local you don't have a backpack on you okay so here it is storage access press zf yeah it looks like then it goes to the regular view no well i i still kept my guns they just in your inventory yeah just the one the one thing i really do not like is the fact that everything that i loaded out on my ships have been removed and it's been stored in my inventory and now i have to like manually install them this is going to be a pain in my butt I think. kind of like how it was before okay let's go check out the personal hangers who is this oh yeah i still haven't checked those out i am in the spaceport uh where are you at orson i'm in orson yeah i just Probably want to you should fit your biggest ship yeah but there's so been... it's not the one that comes with your package like we originally oh out. no no okay then that's good news because that was like one thing i was asking that knew nobody knew was is the hangar gonna be fitting the biggest ship that you purchased or the biggest ship that you have but no, that's good that uh, it's gonna be fitting the biggest Ooh, ship that yes you just got a free ship bro you got a free how I got a Hercules Starlifter. Shut up. <laughs> I lose ships and you got one? What the heck yeah. is this about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but which one? The C2 or the Star? So that's the M2 then. The no, the A2, the bomber. You got that's a bomber? 216 car cargo. Yeah. Oh. The next shuttle is approaching the station. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, I, I think this is the biggest. Yeah, I'm getting this one. Yeah, let's retrieve it. Oh my gosh. Last call for passengers. Cupcakes launch hangar. Yeah, well, the server seems pretty smooth. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of enjoyable right now. <laughs> it's just right now, let's see when we get playing the game. You can take out your weapons in your hangar. Nice. Yo, um, what? The reflection on that window was actually pretty sick. In your wow. personal hangar, you should see something like emergency drop off, and so you can like drop off, uh, drop off incapacitated people there, which is pretty cool. I guess for sh full disclosure, people, uh, this is not the first time me loading into the 320, uh, 324. Uh, <clears throat> I did just go and check to see if uh, I had my ships. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Yeah, so I lost both my Pisces, which I'm actually really upset about because I was kind of a pack. And then I also lost my 600i, which Can't I'm complain here. really <laughs> upset about. <laughs> and then here you are obtaining a friggin' uh, Hercules bomber. Yo. Exactly. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Let's go, reclaimer. 
Okay, so now the big question that I want to know is these personal hangers, are they only at... Um, They're only at your primary residence. So not in so the... wherever you set it. Okay, so but not in the... What's it called? Not in the spaceports. Mm, I think they should be in the spaceports as long as it's your primary residence. So if I change my... Okay, let's figure it out. Let, let's find... Let's answer Don't that... Don't quote me on this, though. Yeah, no, we're gonna... We're gonna find this out today. However, when I was reading about it online, because my internet speed is so slow, like I had nothing better to do, I saw that apparently they should be at your primary residence. Retrieve. Also, like, if you check citizen chat, I sent in, like, five very important patch notes for bug fixes, which, thank goodness, bro, they actually started fixing that. Oh, I got an extra large hanger. Um, yeah, probably because of your reclaimer and 890 reclaimer. jump. Reclaimer. Okay, so we're. Oh, look, NSM Tim's uh extra large hanger. That's kind of cool. That's the biggest. I got the second biggest. Extra large is the biggest. Do you have the biggest ship in the game? Uh, that's true, I guess. Oh, they didn't fix that noise. Which one? Oh, shoot. That beacon or that sound, the emergency sound when the doors are opening. So I remember in, when I was watching some of the other YouTubers, um, the one thing that they were complaining was you would you'd be able to hear other people calling their ships, like that that horn. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happened right now. The doors, uh, as I got to my hangar. The noise was just like, wah, wah, wah. Oh. See, there it is again. Oh no, it went away. Right, I'm so confused. Dude, this ship is so close. Sp yeah, you need to what find the upgrades for this. Dude, oh my gosh. This thing is crazy. This hangar is so big for this little tiny ship. to Seraphim Station, I called in a hangar, and it says Tim's small hangar. Because you're going with a small ship, I guess. They've changed the graphics too, dude. Now, when you're looking at the Aesop at Seraphim, you can act, it, it looks like the screen's actually pixelated. You know when the, those weird wavy lines from the pixels? Yeah. Yeah, it literally looks like, like someone recording a screen. Your vehicle has been delivered to Wait, the following I'll location. Go. Oh, dude, look at that. Tim's large hangar. Please visit us so again. it looks like these, uh, these hangars are everywhere. Oh, set your primary residence there. Your imprint, you know? Yeah, yeah. And oh, your persistent hangers. I think this is going to be like... Personal hangers exist for the player at the selected home location at all time and is as big as the largest ship on the player's account. Ships purchased in-game don't Very increase true. size of personal hangar at this time. Let's say I was stuck. Yep. Hello. Hello. What, what's your account, uh, ship? You should consult it's, uh, the terminal for that. 
It's a freelancer. Start for treatment now. Well, Tim, try storing your ships and then seeing what hangar you Dr. could go into. So I tried the Hercules in Seraphim Station. And uh, that, gave, that granted me access to the large yeah, but try storing your ship, right? I did. It, that's what I'm saying. Now I'm transferring. Now I'm transferring my imprint. Yeah, and see what hangar you see there. Also, my uh, I'll see. Welcome I want to know to the ASOP vehicle if that's going to be in the hangar or if that's going to go to. Oh, look at that. So I got Thanks delivered to my today. large hangar. Goodbye. So no more of the docking. All right, so here we go. This is the anticipation of all this. Let's see. Seraphim Station has an extra large hangar. Let's go ahead and call our 890 jump. And see if uh calls into a hangar or if it gets to a docking port. Vehicle Your vehicle has been delivered port. to the following location. Please visit us. Yeah, so it looks like uh, we can only do large hangars in the docking or in the space stations. And then we get the extra large hangars down on uh, the... Looks like it's going to be the main city on the planet. New Babbage. Area 18. Uh, what else? Orison. Lorville. Those guys. I, I still, you know what? It's still, it still looks very nice. Servers. I'm going to do a, a run. And the other thing that I would like to actually see happen, which would make life more realistic and simpler, especially for the cargo run and like stuff like Hall C or any cargo ships that have computers on board, that you're able to access admin through the computer instead of having to dock and then working your way all the way to the to admin to sell your stuff to run back to your ship. And then go into the oh, with what ship? Uh, for your for cargo ships. No, no, you dock into your hangar. So you go into your hangar, put it to the cargo lift, and then it goes into your local inventory, and then you have to sell it there. Okay, so the problem with that is the whole seat. I don't think that's gonna be. So. I guess we'll find out something about something more about the whole seat. Oh, you can find out right now. I have my whole seat. Okay, so the whole seat did not go to a docking port. Or, yeah, to, it didn't go to a docking port, but instead went to my large hangar here at the uh, Seraphim Station, which, to be honest with you, that's kind of really cool. Okay, so next, let's buy some cargo. If you're buying cargo, right, make sure to not deliver it to your ship. Well, how much? If you buy it to your ship, then it's going to like lock your ship for a while until it loads automatically. And that's going to take like a few hours, which I mean, technically that isn't that bad if you just don't like waiting, right? And if you have oh, like to, to pay to pay for a fee to have the whatever. No, you don't pay for a fee. There's no fee. You just well, okay, you just have to wait. Yeah. So instead of you manually loading it, you'll get the game to load it. Like you wait like four hours. What? Yeah. I hope that's not true. That's <laughs> that kind of sucked. If that's even possible, I wonder if it, then it's possible to grab another ship to go do another mission. Yeah, this is what. I, if it's possible to do this with multiple ships, then it isn't that bad. Yeah. Well, the hull sea is a little different because I know that you have to go to the cargo area to go get loaded. And it's usually like in space. Or where you go to sleep, you just start it up, right? Or, or even that, yeah. That'll be that'll be good. Okay, I'll see. There we go. Helium. Helium go up in price. Helium is about the same. So yeah, with the Hall C, I have to go to cargo services, which means I have to. It'll be 
load up outside. The hangers are actually uh, a little bit bigger than what we're used to from a previous version, like 320, uh, 322. Dude, this is like humongous dude to be honest yeah i think so because uh in the previous update you had five hanger sizes now you have four i think oh dude do you see how it stores your vehicle yeah it drops into the ground yeah isn't that freaking cool Just got paused. Oh, really? Seriously, it got paused because the security uh, security ship decided to scan me, and he's in my carging. That should be not allowed. Though it feels like they change the, the physics of ships. You know what I mean? Like when a ship oh, is really? like fully That's loaded. Good. Yeah. <clears throat> when I flew over to go get loaded. The ship was ham handling uh, quite normal. As I'm flying now, when it's fully loaded, you can feel that it's heavy, like because it takes a long time to turn and rotate and maneuver. If anyone knows what the primary resident thing is, uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know. Just trying to figure that out. Whether it's the first selection that you uh, that you select or that you made when uh, getting into the game, where it says uh, pick your solar system, which was Staten, and then you what was it? Either Orson, Area 18, Lauraville, or New Babbage, or is it depending on? where your imprint is so still trying to figure that that one out for any of you out there who's just wondering um we do also upload to rumble.com that's another alternative uh site for videos that's uh, similar to youtube but in uh, some ways are actually it's actually better so if you guys want to head over to rumble um, more Our channel is called Gaming with NSM Tim. Uh, be awesome if you can uh, do a follow on that on that platform as well. And like I said, I'm thinking about doing some uh, unique, specific, just to Rumble, uh, do uh, videos just for the Rumble platform. Dude, the. Uh the physics for momentum has changed dramatically. Is it better? Yeah, they, they, they made good changes to the momentum. No, oh, it's like it when like when the hull sees now. when the hull sees empty, it flies like awesome. Like it's maneuverable, you can manage it. But then when it's fully loaded, you can feel that it's fully loaded. Yeah, these are good changes. Any bugs or glitches so far? Because apparently they fixed a lot of bugs. Yeah, dude, they fixed a lot. I read the patch notes, uh, two full pages of bugs. Yeah. So do I need to get to the start? We're just like, we, we're doing what the people want. People want bug fixes, we'll fix all the bugs. There's somebody there next to you, bro. The problem with these like burst space breaks are like if, if I'm going to start getting searched by security, well, I will be able to stop. You just do reverse thrust. Oh yeah, dude, the game just gave me 44 million credits for free. On top of a 44 million dollar ship? Oh no, well, no, but the ship. 
Oh, it's about to start getting bricked again. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I got the third most expensive ship now. Most expensive. Alright, that is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There was a couple of questions I would, uh, that I was asking and couldn't find any answers to it. It looks like we found it. Yeah, so it looks pretty cool with uh, 324 so far with the personal hangers. As usual, there's go always going to be a plus and a minus to all these updates. Uh, some people are going to like things, other people are not going to like those things. But uh, definitely making the game more realistic and uh, the game's growing, which is awesome to see finding 324 is here. If you really like the video, why don't you go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell for the notifications for every time we release a new video. Until the next time, who knows, maybe we'll see you out here.